What's going on, y'all? It's Corey with Kern Angley. It's been a little while since I've been out here on the water looking to go up the creek and find some bigger trout. But right now, I'm working a bank looking for some redfish. I've got this really cool new lure by Z-Man. It's called the Mulatron, except this one's really small. This one's only 3.3 inches. And this is on their ZWG hook. Uh, this is an eighth ounce, three aught, extra wide gap. It was a really good hook. There's a lot of cool features on both the hook and the bait. I'll show you that later. Holy crap. I was not expecting this red right here. <laughs> Stand up. This is like the third cast with this big Mulatron. That's a big redfish. Oh man. It's not a small fish. The first red in a month. I have not been fishing much. Not ready. This fish is still super green. Right there. Missed it. In, in the net. All right. Look at that. The net's almost too small. Woo! <laughs> Look at that stud redfish right away. That Mulatron. I like to have a large oversized net so I can keep it here under my legs and then I have it in the water right here. Uh, I also just give it extra time to revive. So it's handy dandy catch board. I'm just gonna set it right here. So I get everything ready that I can before I even get the fish back out of the water. Let's go ahead and pull the fish up again. Woo. Third cast on that Mulatron and it is a 29 inch redfish. Probably gonna be its last year here, depending if it's a male or female, and then it's gonna be offshore joining that breeding population. So it's a treasure when you catch a fish this big in shore. Gone. Perfectly revived. Didn't need much time with me. Got my kayak right there. And just looking for a couple shark's teeth down here on the bottom. Um, I just pulled up this guy right here. But in the background, I see another one. Let's see what it is. See it right there? I don't know if it's, uh, it's a shard, unfortunately. Shard of a much larger tooth. What a windy day. There's one. It's a nice tooth right there. Check it out. Let's see if it's whole. Uh, the root's a little bit broken. Still pretty good. Oh, there's another one. I don't know what that one is. I think maybe that's the great white. All right, so what I'm really enjoying about this uh, combination here is it's gonna be perfectly weedless, really well, lined up and it's got a recessed area both at the bottom and the top so the hook point really nests inside of the body of the bait without having to push the tip into plastic without having to even skin hook it that should help this the hookup ratio but right now i've been throwing it um, about half the day and i haven't had a single snag and i also haven't had to adjust it up or down so those extra keepers that they add to this is pretty awesome uh, i also really like that dorsal fin aligns perfectly with the hook point so that also helps with it not snagging this right here is the only rod i'm using today this is a st croix medium weight extra fast action seven foot rod and then this is going to be a 3000 series uh, shimano vanford with 20 pound braid and 20 pound floral carbon i use a uni to uni knot for the line to line connection and then a loop knot to, to uh, connect to the actual um, lure. You know, I've been looking for some reds, but it's so windy and weird out on the main river, lots of waves, dirty. And now I'm gonna go up a creek. Right now in February, there should be some speckled sea trout on the coves and, and uh, hard bottom areas of, of the creeks. Damn it, nasty gusts. I'm glad I'm not on the main river right now. Oh, I think there's light at the end. 
Wow, all right. I don't know what that little storm was, but it just blew through. <laughs> and as you saw, I got nasty there for a second, but I'm glad I stuck to it because it is starting to calm down a little bit and the sun's out. With luck, I get these raindrops to go away and in a little bit I can throw out the drone. I'm heading up the creek, which is where I want to be. Right now, It's I think the tide is coming in a little bit. And uh, so it's a low tide incoming in February. This should be where the speckled sea trout are. Oh wow, what is that? Is that a marsh mink or what? Yeah. I maybe got a glimpse of it. I think it was a marsh mink. Um, but we have marsh minks. And we also have river otters here. Um, both are fairly uncommon. There we go, there's the rainbow. Knew I'd see it. Oof. That's the that's the big gator slide I was talking about right there. Yuck. He likes to lay up there. From the marsh all the way down to the water, it just looks like a waterfall of mud. Deep hole. This is where these uh these sea trout winter in like areas like this where there's a deep bend and hole. Alright. About time I catch a speckled sea trout here. No guy. But I knew I was feeling them down there. There we go. There's a trout. Not a big one. Another one on that same Mulletron lure. I'm catching some fish here in this up in this creek. Makes me kind of want to stay, but then again, I kind of want to move on because it's slow. Um, that fish is the same size as the other trout I just caught, which is only, you know, 11, 12 inches long. Dink, by all means. These redfish are right next to me, I think. I got on some redfish there. Um, you probably see in the drone. I could see them kind of creating a little bit of wake here and there, and then creating some nervous water through the drone up, and sure enough, the fish were there. So they got really close. I think I spooked them a little bit, made them nervous, and then they got out of there. I'm still fishing around a kind of a hard bottom area right off the main channel. I'm going to see if I can't pick up some more fish here, and then uh, probably going to fish till dark. So. Stick with me, but if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Uh, I like to bring inshore content like this, and let's go catch some more fish. All right, well, here we are again. It's raining in the sun. Just kind of typical for the day. This feels different. I was going to say it feels flattery, but it's just a bigger trout. Well, this might be dinner. I think so. Oh, don't lose that pole. Fucking made it. That was close. Really close. There were more trout here. There aren't now. Same small mulletron. See how long it is. I don't. It's 14. Now I'm fishing this little oyster point right here in front of this. Sometimes some trout will hang out right here in this little trough. Okay. Water is very dirty from getting hit all day by this wind. Keep my lure within a foot or two of the bank, of the shoreline. Especially right now at this tide. That's one of the most important things is just staying right, right by the shoreline. Sometimes in this murky water, they'll just jump on it. They don't have to look at it too much, overanalyze it. Just kind of pounce as soon as they see it so just need to get in front of one some parallel casts the winds at my back and uh, kind of making me turning me into a sailboat and before I forget I need to lay this rod down because I've got some docks ahead of me I recently had a seminar at the Charleston boat show and 
some of y'all came out. I, I really appreciate that. It was fun to do and I'm gonna be editing the video a little bit and posting it here soon. All the different seasons and the life cycle and how to target them. It was kind of like a 101 but with a lot of drone shots that have been accumulating throughout the past year or so. Should be pretty entertaining. Helpful for any of you guys who want to learn more about specifically redfish. It's going to be coming up. Make sure you hit the uh, subscribe and alerts so that you see that when it comes out. There we go. There's a big red right there. Dang it. Dang it. Just keep in this this line here. Oh. Well, I said I'll just keep hitting this grass line and I'll, I'll uh, hook into one. I had a solid thump there and set the hook and it just kind of came out. Right now it's the perfect depth. There's a fish. It feels like a little bit smaller or it just doesn't know it's hooked yet. Oh, that's perfect eating size. Just what I need. I don't want to lose that one. I think it's hooked well. One, two, three, boat flip. All right. Check that out. It's gonna be 16. It's like 15 and a quarter, just barely. But it's legal. Put it in the bag and keep going. I always stress out when I have like one small fish that I'm that I'm keeping because it doesn't really feed anyone. But if I've got two or three small fish, I've got a small family, so that usually will work. <clears throat> so it's 5.15, it's really turned out to be a beautiful evening. Suddenly the wind kind of stopped and now it's sunny and calm. Tide is perfect. I think things are lining up for me to be able to close out the evening in a good way. I just had two bites and landed one Oh man, it's a solid thump right there. Well, how do you miss? All right, y'all, I'm finishing out the evening, pretty much riding it out till sunset. It wasn't a great bite, but still consistently caught some fish. And I have um, both a redfish and a sea trout in the cooler. So happy about that. I'm gonna be bringing home some dinner. Really today was just about getting back out here, having some fun. The bait and gear that I use in my videos are always gonna be in the descriptions um, with an affiliate link that helps me out. But I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, go check out my other videos and some instructional videos like this one right here. And I'll see you there. Thanks.